Campfire time. Woo! Today's my birthday. Near as I can tell, at least. Well, happy birthday, Luke. Yeah, man. Happy birthday. So, how old are you now? I am 27 years old. Oh, that's oh my god, I'm... Sure I'm turning 27 this year. Start with that shit. Got out of college five years ago. Feels like a million years. At least I don't have to worry about paying off them student loans. I hear that. I'm sure there's some asshole sitting on that paperwork, waiting to collect. What did you study? Majored in art history. Well, that's cool. <laughs> Sounds like you majored in working in a coffee shop. Pretty much. Oh, stop it. You get a minor in agriculture. Keep the old man happy. Oh, I almost forgot. We're saving it for a special occasion, man. While it being your birthday and all, figure this is as good a time as any. Where did you get it? Bill kept all the alcohol in the armory. He didn't like people imbibing. What's that mean? Drinking. He, he didn't think people should drink. Feel a little guilty taking the first... Whoa, uh... wait! You gotta make a toast. I'm not really the, uh... Come on, birthday boy. It don't have to be fancy. A toast means we all got something to drink. Oh, we can just pass the bottle around afterwards. Go on. <clears throat> to the loved ones that we've lost along the way. And to the hope that we see them again. Someday. Here, here. That was real nice. Yeah? I didn't mean for it to rhyme. That was... Well... I got first watch. <laughs> I think the fence has got us pretty secure. We can't be too careful. The baby might be cold. Nah, I'll keep him warm. He's a tough little guy. Come on, Kenny. At least have a drink. Nah, maybe later. Clem, let him go. I'm gonna post up over near the hole in the fence there. Holler if you need anything. Thanks, Kenny. Fire's real nice. Plenty of room if you want to get warm. Maybe in a bit. I didn't expect her to come back. Just when I thought I got her figured out, she up and surprises. It's a good thing. You saved our ass. I know. I know. I just don't know what she's getting at all this. She usually travels by herself. It has to be hard. Maybe she's just lonely. Well, that'd explain a few things. <laughs> oh, come on. I'm just teasing. It was stupid. I understand. She's a pretty girl. Once you get past all the dirt and guts. I don't know. I guess I just wanted to forget about all this shit for like ten minutes. Ten minutes? Man, that's longer than I'd last at this point. Hey. All right. All right, it wasn't ten minutes. Come on. We got a little one around. Sorry. <laughs> Did I said anything? It's my fault for bringing it up. I know what you guys are talking about. I certainly hope not. You're talking about kissing stuff. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yes. Yes. That. That is exactly it. Was there any kissing? You shut your mouth right now. Both of you. Bounce it, wow, wow. Maybe she came back for you. Could be. I don't know what to say to that. <laughs> I'd come back for you. You know what I mean. Well, thank you, Clint. I do the same. Luke's a regular Casanova. Hey, shut up. Don't be modest. Your moves are working on all the ladies. Worked on me. Oh. oh shit. I just did it too, didn't I? Sorry. It's the drink talking. They say a drunk man's talk is a sober man's thoughts. Well, I ain't a man, so they can take that shit somewhere else. Cl 
Clem, go see if you can get Jane and Kenny over by the fire. It's too cold for them to be out there like that. Oh, and here, maybe a swig of this will change the mood. Okay, well, let's get these guys over here. There, there, little guy. Shh. Shh, I got you. I got you. Hey. Oh, hey, Clam. Just, uh, Needed some air. Kenny, there's air everywhere. <laughs> That's true. I'm sorry for, for how I acted back there. After Sarita was... I just... I, I couldn't handle it. I'm sorry. I mean, you did what you could. You tried to help. And I blamed you for it. I'm so, so sorry. You don't have anything to apologize for. I know you didn't mean it. Thanks. I miss my boy. I miss him so much. I didn't raise him like I should have. Made mistakes. Wasn't there. A whole lot for a couple years. Off on a boat somewhere or other. I thought I enjoyed that time away from him. From my family. I'd give anything for one more second with them. To play catch with Doug. To touch Katja's face. Anything in the world. Maybe you'll see them again someday. Well, from here on out, I'm gonna try and believe that too. No. Oh. It's gonna be different with him. He's gonna get raised right. I won't make the same mistakes again. That's a promise. You should get back over by the fire. Ain't no sense in both of us being over here. I can handle watch on my own. You should come too. I don't know. Come on. It'll be good for everyone. Yeah, okay. Okay, now let's talk to Jane. They expect you to lure me over there with alcohol? Yeah. I wouldn't have expected a bottle to last this long. It's probably been a while for everyone. Will it work? That depends. What is it? It's rum? Probably. I don't know. It, it might be awkward. I wasn't expecting to... You know. Why? Because you made it with Luke? What does that <laughs> even mean? What's the it? You know. Yeah. Because I made it with Luke. It's not a big deal. Why does this feel like I'm signing a contract or something? That's really good. Have you had any? You want to sit? It's okay. You know what? Sure. It just might burn a little. You'll feel it in your nose. Um, sure. <laughs> you okay? Uh-oh. Busted. I better take that back. I wasn't too much older than you when I had my first drink. God, I was so stupid back then. There was this time I broke into my parents' liquor cabinet and drank a whole bottle of this really spicy, sweet liquor. Oh, what was its name? I was dumb. 
earthquake or something. Sounds like you were a bad kid. I guess I was. At the bottom of the bottle, there were these sugar crystals. And I got it in my head that I really wanted to eat a couple. So I got the bright idea to smash it on my parents' dining room floor to get at them. And it shattered into a thousand pieces all over the dining room. And I proceeded to eat what I thought was sugar candy. Sounds like a mess. Yeah, it was. Every couple years, someone would step on a piece of glass that didn't get swept up and get mad at me all over again. The problem with glass is it looks a lot like sugar crystals. That's never really been a problem for me. Keep it that way. My sister found me, drunk, blood pouring out of my mouth. Oh. Jamie thought I was dying, so she called 911. They pumped my stomach. Got grounded for six months. Maybe you shouldn't be drinking. You're not the first one to tell me that. <laughs> I haven't thought about that in a long time. I guess a deal's a deal. Here. <laughs> Careful you don't drink any sugar crystals. Or glass crystals. Want to sit here? No, that's... I'm fine. Oh, yeah, okay. Wherever you like. Oh, let's talk to Arvo. Uh, <laughs> or not. Jane. You don't have to justify that with a response. Hey, I find it's best to just get this stuff out in the open. Less drama. Well, that's fine. But I can confirm there was no time for kissing. <laughs> Shh, all right, enough of that. Hey, you Clem. It's nice to hear people laughing. Yeah, it is. You just spend so much time trying to stay alive that... You don't get a chance to enjoy living. Yeah. We need to make more time for that. Alcohol helps. <laughs> Hell yeah, it does. Let me get that bottle. We got someone else that might need some help. Sounds like a waste of good rum. He lost his sister today. And whose fault was that? That makes it even harder to deal with. Trust me. He needs it as much as anyone right now. It's a nice thing to do. I said my piece. I don't think that boy's a bad person. I just think good people do bad things sometimes. And they do it a lot more nowadays with the world being what it is. That's very so, true. I think it's best Leave to... me alone! Sorry, okay? My fault. I shouldn't have... Leave me alone! Please, David. It's okay. It's okay. She's in a better place. It's okay. It's okay. Maybe it's best if we all get some rest. Who knows how long a walk we got tomorrow? Yeah, that's a good idea. I'll take first watch. Thank you, Kenny. Really? I, uh. Don't mention it. You did good. It was nice while it lasted. Yeah, it was. It was nice. We learned a lot about Kenny. We learned a lot about drinking ice crystals. Which were actually glass. I think that sums up to be a good evening.
Ooh, power lines. You sure you're good? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. If I, if I start to crap out, I'll let you know. Okay, will you do that? It's no trouble. How much further? Close. Very close. You've been saying that every time I ask. Please. Come. I'm really oh, God. to think you're full of shit. It can't be much further. Behind you! What the fuck? Ah! 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 Jesus Christ. That was close. Fucker came out of nowhere. That was real loud. Hopefully there aren't more of them. Yeah, well, let's move. We don't want to be around to find out. It's very close. Come. There. That piece of shit? It's half built. We're here for the supplies, not the house. It's warm. Fireplace. Very warm. As long as there's food, who cares what it looks like? You're not gonna think that when you wake up with a couple inches of snow covering you. Are we just gonna walk over? Maybe there's a way around. I don't see any. Say it in an American asshole. It's okay. Walk. Ice. No shit ice. That's the problem. He's saying it's fine. I go first. I can be front. Maybe we shouldn't clump together. We just can't have too much weight. She's right. We need to spread out. Just to be safe. Less weight the better. Let the Rusky go first, since he's so confident. It's okay. Not to sound stereotypical or anything, but aren't Russians like more well adapted to walking on ice because of uh, where they live? Oh god, I don't know about this. We're oh, okay. God. Don't worry. Yeah, but you weigh way more than Clem does. Oh, God, there's walkers. We got some walkers behind us. That's only a few of them. We should be alright. Let's just get to the house. Hey, stay with us. Fuck! That's two less to deal with. Just stay spread out and we'll be fine. Hey! Oh, God! Motherfucker! Shit! He's gonna kill him! <gasps> Kenny! Get back here, you piece of shit! I should let you drown, you piece of shit! No! Kenny! Don't run! Well, they made it. Oh, God, no. Don't come over here. Hey, I can make it. It's, it's fine. You sure? Yeah. Oh, you got walkers on the way. Let me help you. It's too thin you. for both of us. I just... I just gotta be careful. Oh, oh God! Stop. Stop! I'm fine. I'm fine. No, you're not. The walkers are almost here. Hurry! Yeah, I know. You ain't helping. You need to help. No. Clem, go. Go help him. No, Clem, do Clem, not. Just go back for him. You're blind. You Stop can do telling it. her that. Clem, look at me. Pull out your gun and shoot those damn walkers, okay? Just give me a little time. Claim you can make it, but you need to go. I, I need to help him. Clementine, stop! Clementine! Oh, 
I can't let him go. I can't. Just go back. Please. I got you. Please. It's gonna be all right. No. Oh, God. Oh God. They can swim? Oh God. <gasps> Luke! No! No! Another just like it. He wasn't lying. You want to tell me how a can of fucking chili is going to help How is beating a kid to death going to help anyone? This is your fault, and you damn well know. Let me get a fire started. You okay? He's hurt real bad. Mike! Yeah. Yeah, okay. You got a light? I thought I had matches. Okay, first thing I gotta say, yeah, Kenny did go a bit over the line, but to be fair, he did run. 
on ice. That didn't exactly help. And two, I think they're being a little too hard on Kenny because of that. Because you, Jesus, <sighs> he could have killed you. What the fuck is wrong with him? You're up. Kenny's out back trying to get some stupid truck started. Here, you should eat something. You okay? Thank you. I can't believe he's gone. I've lost people before, but it just hasn't felt this, this shitty in a while. To be fair, you did have sex with him. He was a great guy. God damn it. This is probably not the best idea to ask if he was good in bed. I shouldn't have come back. I knew this would happen. I knew it. Always does. Well, I'm glad you did. God, I'm still. I'm gonna find something to clean that up. Uh, Thank you. Thank you. I can't take this shit anymore. Everyone from that Feeling cabin better? is gone. Yeah. Hell of a day. But we gotta get moving. If you're feeling up to it, I could use a hand out back with this truck. This house ain't worth a crap, but the vehicles ain't in bad shape. With a little luck, we can get one fixed up. Be out of here by nightfall. Yeah, sure, Kenny. That's the spirit, darling. I'll wait for you out back. I'll watch him. Oh, God. They're gonna have a feud. For sure. I just can't believe Luke's gone. Clem. Just be careful. But yeah, like I was saying, I mean, yeah, Kenny did go overboard, but saying the ice as in it was Kenny's fault is bullcrap. I'm sorry, but 